State officials want to get the lead out of Connecticut homes. Today they announced a new campaign called Lead Free CT. News 8's Ken Pierce tells us how it could help keep you and your family safe. Hugo is four years old now. When he was two, he tested positive for lead. His mom, who came to Connecticut from Brazil in 2016, had never even heard about lead poisoning. Connecticut requires lead screening for children. Lead in paint or in pipes can cause developmental issues that can be irreversible. Right now, when a child tests above a certain level, it triggers an investigation. But instead of reacting to lead poisoning, state health officials want to act before kids get sick. Um, so investing in lead poisoning prevention, keyword prevention, yields significant returns and reduce health care costs. The campaign is called Lead Free CT. It will have many steps. The first is focused on paint. Homeowners can apply online. Assuming the property owner qualifies, we send out one of our licensed consultants to do a lead inspection risk assessment. And the scope of work is developed to tell the contractors who are eventually going to bid on the work what lead hazards exist in the home and how we're going to prescribe them to actually remove those hazards. Step one is funded with $15 million in American Rescue Plan money. Hugo's mom is already on the list and signed up through Connecticut Children's to have her house be one of the first, hopefully, that will have remediation done. For more information or to apply, we have a link on our website, WTNH.com. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.